Hey guys, Sean here. Hey, I figured I'd make a quick video here um, on my newest gun purchase here. Um, <laughs> didn't really plan on getting a gun today. Um, normally, I kind of plan it out a little bit. And, um, but anyways, I was at my local gun shop today, and um, I come across this. Um, I've been wanting um, to get back into a revolver again. Maybe not for, for primary carry, but I've just been wanting a revolver in my collection ever since I got rid of the uh, 357, the, the Ruger SP-101. Um, I've been missing not having a revolver around, plus I still got some 38 special ammo left over from that. So I, this is the EAA Windicator 38 special, um, six-shot revolver. Um, I think it weighs in around 26, 26 ounces, so... It's a little hefty, but you know what the hell, you know, two hundred and eighty dollars for this thing. Um, I I couldn't say no. I come into a little bit of money, so yep. I figured I'd pick this up. And I was like, well, I could either put it on layaway or just pay for it all just today and walk away with it. And um, either I put put up a gun on layaway that's more money, five six hundred dollars or Ruger's. They, they had some of the Ruger LCRs that were pretty nice, but those those were close to five hundred bucks. And it's like, well, I can afford this today. I went in there. I was like, I'm looking for something. I'm looking to spend like under three hundred bucks. So this was marked at three hundred. So he he docked a little bit off it. So two hundred eighty dollars. I I walked out the door with. So I've heard a lot of a lot of good reviews on these. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not a Smith and Wesson. It's not a Ruger. You know, it's not even a Taurus, but it works. These things work. Um, I probably put half a box of ammo through it today and um, ran fine. No problems, you know. So, um, I like it. I, it. The owner's manual recommends you cannot put the 38 Special Plus piece through this. That's the only thing that sucks, but eh, 38 Special is fine, too. I mean, it's just a good, you know, this would make a good, you know, woods gun your backpacking gun, what have you, or just a good truck gun, car gun, throwing your tackle box gun, um, a gun you just, it's not a lot of money, so I mean, if anything gets scratched up, marred up, or anything happens to it, it's not as big of a deal as with my M&Ps, you know, which are a hell of a lot more money than this, so for the price, these things are pretty good. Um, so, it's a nice six-shot revolver, though, a little on the thick side, you know, but what the hell. What do you expect for the price? You know, a lot of I've watched a lot of reviews on this, and a lot of people are complaining about the fit and finish. You know, the case isn't the best. You know, it's a two hundred and eighty dollar gun. What do you expect? You know, so so far I like it. So this is like my first impulse buy today. I been contemplating getting another gun ever since I got the shield, and I probably should have just. It was either it was either I I, I dropped a couple hundred dollars on ammo, or I got this and. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll just get this, and I'll hold off on the ammunition from buying for a while. So I was gonna, sp I was gonna spend the money regardless whether it was buying this or buying ammo. So, so, anyways, this is um, my newest gun in my collection. This is number eight. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching. As always, be safe.